Hello everyone, it's Dell with Dell's Lawn Care. Today we're going to do a tune-up on our Honda HRX 217HYA. We will uh, change the blades, the air filter, the spark plug, and the oil. Some of the tools you'll need, 9 sixteenths for the blades, a spark plug wrench, if under the deck is dirty, we just use a putty knife and always a spark plug gapper. Very simple tools here and we will spray it with the cleaner here and then hose it off when we're done and wipe any excess off. Um, sometimes around the air filter and that it gets dirty. I like to see it clean. Before I do any tune-up, I always run the engine for about 10 minutes to heat the oil up so that it will come out easier and then I'm gonna put a little bit of the Kawasaki 30 weight into the engine I'll pull start it for a second let it mix and then I'll dump it out after I did the original dump out and then I will fill it up to the full mark so let's get started shoot, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot, shoot. We're going to take the fill cap off. On this particular mower, there is no drain plug on the bottom of the mower. So we take this off and always clean it before we put it back. Now as you can see, that is most of the oil still coming out. We just want to get the majority out. I don't want to spend all day doing this. So we'll just go ahead and throw some oil in it. And I'm just doing this to mix it up a little bit to try to get as much of the dirty oil out as I can. Once again, and we're gonna drain it once again. This time we're gonna fully drain it. It's very simple. We're down to a drip. I would say that's fair enough to say that the engine is just about empty. No, maybe not. to clean this a couple times. Fresh quart. The other was fresh as well, but I want to be able to measure this here. I think everybody knows
knows where that is. If not, you might not want to be doing your tune-up. And yes, I spilled a little while turning it upside down. You're going to put 600 milliliters of oil into the tank. Again, I do this because I believe maintenance is key. Keeps your stuff running good, running longer, and less time getting fixed. And now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and put our dipstick back in before we forget. Now remember, the engine is warm because we just ran it so we could flush the oil, so don't burn yourself. Big in a game like she went and got them breast implants. I said I'm moving too fast, didn't even get a glance. On this mower, we have 145 hours thanks to that hour meter I installed. I know exactly when I did maintenance and at what time. If you're not interested and you know you just do it whenever, that's fine. I always try to stick to the book. And to start the season off, I always just do it, whether it needs it or not. Spark plug really isn't that bad for 145 hours, but I'm going to change it anyway. We have it gapped at 30. And the spark plug is a BPR6ES. It goes down here in the hole. Very easy to do. Snug. The spark plug boot on. The air filter. For 145 hours, that's a pretty clean air filter. However, I'm a true believer in maintenance and I want my equipment to run as long as I can without buying new. I'm going to go ahead and install a new one for the year. These items are trash. before I put it away at the end of the year. I don't change the blades though. I generally, you know, I forget as many mowers as I have, so I just start the year off with doing it instead of trying to guess which ones. It's very simple. didn't get this you know in December when I quit using it it was very cold so 
Um, I didn't get all in here and clean it, so I'm going to spray that cleaner that I showed you in this video. And spray this and try to clean it around the springs and that so that they will work properly. And just put them two together, they're sharpened blades. How you change the blades. Now that's a tune-up on the Honda if you didn't know how to do it, now you do. But I was always recommend you know pulling your cord out, making sure that you know there's no debris that this is gonna break in the middle of the season. Check your cables, your adjustments, your wheel adjustments, lube them with some double D40, some fluid film, whatever you have, just to keep them working. Thanks for watching Dell's Lawn Care, and as always, have a marvelous day.